Whether it's intentional or not, it could be argued that the United States government has become the middleman in a large-scale, multi-billion dollar child trafficking operation that is run by bad actors seeking to profit off of the lives of children. And yesterday, the White House... Go! Yeah. Happy Wednesday, everybody! So let's talk about Glenique Frank. That's the chosen name of a runner who ran the London Marathon. Frank credited girl power for beating nearly 14,000 women in the female category. But here's the rub. Frank recently competed in the Tokyo, Boston, Berlin, Chicago, and New York marathons as a male. Hmm. Because those races forced him slash her to register under the name and gender on his slash her passports. But hey, it's that kind of girl power that lets you push through any race, even if you got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> even the East German swim team thinks that guy's a guy. <laughs> Remember them? But if you don't think that's a woman, you'll be labeled a bigot, obviously. Even if your eyesight is 2020, your mindset is 1820. And speaking of 2020, here's what Frank used to look like just a few years ago. So Glenique's a real Wonder Woman. As in, you wonder, how is this a woman? <laughs> As for the London race, some women called out Frank, saying the switch allowed him to finish way above his mediocre status. Former Olympian Mara Yamoki called it wrong and unfair, which is the same thing they said when me and Tyrus smoked that Girl Scout troop in dodgeball. <laughs> but what does Mara know anyway? I bet when she took a drug test, she actually peed sitting down. <laughs> Now, in 2023, this attitude has been labeled transphobic. But in the sporting world, that's another word for honest. So here's the message to women in sports. Train hard, stay focused, sacrifice months or even years of your life, and lose to a dude in a wig. Your efforts will be as worthless as marriage advice from Geraldo. <laughs> He's earned it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Frank defended the decision to run as a female, adding, quote, if they really think I've stolen the place of a female runner, I don't mind giving the medal back because I'll run again next year for charity. But I don't want to apologize because I didn't do anything wrong. True, he really hasn't done anything illegal. I mean, it's kind of like claiming to be someone else in order to get into law school. I guess it's...